morning. I am so excited today. It is Monday, April 3rd, 11.34 a.m. I've already recorded seven shorts for my gaming channel. I am getting ready to go out of town. I am going to the Florida Keys with my family on Thursday, so I have a lot of preparing to do. We have a lot of excitement in the vlog, but let's start with our horoscope of the day. You might feel pushed aside at work or when you are with friends. Maybe there's a peacock who wants all the attention for themselves. The reality is that the others see through their act. Oh, <gasps> gasp but they might be too polite to burst their bubble. Okay, it sounds like somebody's not getting enough attention. It's me, we will persevere. Something tells me I'll be fine with it. So I have a few goals today I need. So like I said, I've already recorded all my gaming content for the day. I've had a coffee, we're up there, we're feeling energized, feeling a little bit lit. I need to go to an Ulta and get sunscreen for our vacation. I'm nervous being a tattooed individual. You gotta keep these babies out of the sun. I also want to find myself a cover up to cover my arms. I don't have that many leg tattoos, but I think a cover up would be good. I'd rather be warm and sweaty and uncomfortable than be like, I'm getting burned. So let's see what we can find online right now. So I was looking at Revolve. You guys always ask where I shop. It's Revolve and there's some expensive stuff here, um, but trust me, they do have some non-expensive stuff. Okay, okay, this top, this top is looking, you know, $33. Oh my gosh, wait, this might actually be perfect. Oh, the white is still $150. That's a no. <gasps> This is cute. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Okay, it's perfect, it's perfect. Where are the pants, where are the pants? Oh, it's only in an extra large. The problem is shopping with a sale. We'll find something, we will find something. Okay, I think this is it. So $65, love that, that's that's doable. And I'm thinking pink, obviously. And look at this, it's cotton. And it looks like it has holes holes in it so that we can get some breeze, some breeze, some breeze. Okay, so this is a winner. It won't protect my chest tattoo, but it does, it protects the arms. So I'm, I'm fine with it. Let's, one left! Oh my gosh, I got it. If they cancel my order, I will be distraught, but I will keep you posted. Let's get on with the rest of our day. Let's see if I can hit the jackpot. What we're hoping for is a banana huel. Banana huel. Oh, no, you're kidding. We only have berry left. This is my least favorite flavor and I drink all the chocolate, all the vanilla and all I have left is berry, but we'll make it happen. No waste in this household. Before I get going, I have acquired a new phone case. Oh, I just got a text from Zach. AC technician's gonna be here in 30 to 45 minutes because my air condition is broke. I was like literally about to walk out the door. So I'm glad that I got this text, but we got a new phone case. So this is an old one. Let's get out the new one. You guys are gonna think I'm such a poser, but that's fine. Okie dokie, we got a Sailor Moon phone case. And it's like kind of funny because I don't watch Sailor Moon, but I do think the aesthetic is cute. And I do know these cats' names are Artemis and Luna. And you know, I think you can think things are cute without like, totally getting into them. For example, I was looking at a lot of the phone cases and they were so cute. I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. But they were twice phone cases, like the K-pop group. And I was like, oh, I don't want people to think that I know a lot about K-pop because I don't. And then I don't want people to talk to me about K-pop because I don't know anything and I'll feel really stupid. But I feel like I can just get away with this a lot easier. And then I got myself a new charm. This is way bigger than this. Oh my God, it's like double the size. Why is the charm so big? So here's the new combo, here's the old combo. As you can see, my fingers wore away this pattern. Which do you guys like more? I think I'll take this one with me to Florida where there's like sunscreen and sand and stuff. That way when I come home, I can have a brand new kind of little situation going on. Maybe I can wear both. Mm? Both both little wrist straps? I don't know. I'm on my way to Ulta to get some sunscreen and I also have to make a couple of returns. I think I already prefaced all this, but the AC guy just left. He arrived and then he was here for like literally almost two hours. Like, okay, that's dramatic. I think an hour. And he got done and he was like, there was nothing wrong with your unit. There was no water in the pan because the last guy said there was water in the pan and that the AC you don't want to start as long as there's water in the pan. So he said there was no water in the pan and he doesn't know what the other guy was talking about. So I paid 80 bucks and he left and then I called Zach and he was like, what? No, it's like not working. And I was like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm gonna go to Ulta. I need to buy sunscreen. And then we have a super exciting surprise. So hang in there. Like it's really exciting. I can't wait to tell you. 
I literally only have five minutes to run in and grab what I need, but it's perfect because look who got front row, wait, front row parking, me. And I also forgot to put on perfume, so I'm debating on going to the perfume section and just going a little Okay, let's go get the sunscreen. And this is the brand my dermatologist recommended and also Leah, so I'm gonna trust it. We're gonna get the 100 SPF. Some people say it doesn't matter past like 30, but you can never be too safe. I mean, it's all the same price, so. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm running late, but I have to fill you guys in on the cutest thing that happened. So first I got Sun Bum. I love this brand. It's my favorite sunscreen. But I also picked up this Super Goop uh, Unseen Sunscreen. I think it's for your face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's for your face. Leah recommended it and I had the most wholesome experience in there. I was there and there was a guy and he was standing there just looking kind of like nervous. And he looked at me and um, after I was there like looking for this and he goes, oh, have you ever tried the Super Goop sunscreen? And I was like, no, but my friend said she really loves it. And that's why I'm buying it today because she said it's her favorite by far. And he goes, okay, the unseen one, right? And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, okay, thanks. He looked super nervous and then he left. It was just so cute. Oh, I also got myself a little hand sanitizer and I did spray the Ariana Grande perfume on me and it is strong. Smells great, but I'm like, I'm like, okay, diffuse, diffuse. I'm running late, ah, okay. Here's the tea. I am going to meet another kitty friend today. His name is Mr. Baby, AKA Alexander. The foster mom keeps calling him Mr. Baby. I was scrolling on Pet Finder because I am insane. And he just tugged on my heartstrings. I sent it to Zach while he was on the plane. And when Zach gets off the plane, he's like, let's meet him. I was like, oh my God, you're serious? And he's like, yeah. So I did all the work, got in contact with all the people, filled out all the applications. And now we are on our way to meet Mr. Baby. And he has three legs. Whenever he was a little kitten, he was found. Um, right before Christmas with a broken dislocated back leg that they had to amputate because it could not be saved and now he is ready for his forever home so I'm gonna go meet him I think he'll fit in great with our family dynamic and I also realized that um, Ted is gonna be two this June I looked at my calendar I was like oh my god she's only gonna be two so this is perfect because Ted will have somebody around his age mr. baby is estimated to be born in September so they'll be pretty close in age so here we go I'm nervous we are um, in the back road. So I want to tell you guys, last night I got a call. I did an interview for Mr. Baby and then they gave my number to the foster mom. She called, I did another phone interview and then she asked if I wanted to FaceTime him and I said, of course I want to FaceTime Mr. Baby. So I got to FaceTime him for like five minutes. He was so cute. Zach is so obsessed with him too. So we are just super, super excited. And of course, if this works out, we're going on vacation so he will stay with his foster mom until um, we get back from our vacation because we would hate for him to have to adjust while we are out. You know what I mean? So we want to make sure we're there for him and we're home for him and everything of that sort. So I'm going to be there in six minutes. I'm super nervous. <laughs> I'm also going into somebody's house that I don't know, which always has just like an element of like nerves, right? Hi, I'm at a stop sign right now. I'm keeping an eye around me to make sure I'm not inconveniencing anybody. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I like left the front of her house because I didn't want to be a weirdo. Um, I could cry right now. There is some energy that just feels so right. When I was petting the kitty, Mr. Baby, maybe to be renamed, um, he reminded me so much of Mika. It was so strange and I just like, I don't know, I feel very attached and I feel like I could cry because I don't know, I don't know, I feel silly. I don't know if you guys believe in reincarnation. There's just something about this Mr. Baby Kitty that he needs to come home with us and he needs to be a part of our family and I feel very, very strongly about that. I have a very good feeling so. Um, I'm about to go to FedEx and run my errands, drop off some returns. But I am on cloud nine. Um, there was just something about him that was just so right. Okay, let's do a little bit of a haul. I got this, I think it's my t-shirt. I think it's a t-shirt I ordered. So cute. It's from Sammy Ryan and I've never ordered anything from them before, but it says, think positive every day, manifest your energy. Cute. So just a little cash tea, we love that. And then let's do a little grocery store haul. I got a California roll 
for Zach because I my goal at the grocery store was to get him little lunches so that he could eat at lunch um, time at the office. I just like microwavable food, so that's what I eat from the fridge, but he has a, a finer taste. So I got him little, little California rolls. I got him mild salmon curry, ginger and garlic rice sauteed broccoli. Dinner for one. This sounds like something he might actually like. He loves salmon, he loves fish, he loves sushi, he loves crab. And then I also picked up this meatloaf with rosemary, potatoes, and vegetables. I'm just not sure what he's gonna want. He usually likes the meals at Whole Foods more, but I was closer to the Central Market, and I know he'll just like be excited either way. And then I got myself premium black tea from Twinnings as well as English breakfast because I am out of just my basic black teas. And last but definitely not least, arguably the best thing that I bought, this lemon. I'm about to cut this up and put it in my black tea. This is, my life is so good right now. <laughs> I am just so happy. Like a dollar. Happiness costs a dollar. Not to be a weirdo, but the Stanley Cup, everybody knows how great it is. I am drinking this unsweet tea that has been in it since last night. It's 4 p.m. And it's still great, it's still fresh. I can't believe that it is still fresh. I'm getting the solo cup because I wanna add more ice. I'm gonna add my lemon. But you guys know I like to rinse my ice. Yay! Perfect, and then I'm gonna wash my lemon. This is a great day. <laughs> I got to meet my new kitty friend. Please leave name suggestions. I was thinking Ervin from Attack on Titan. Zach was thinking no way at all that it would be that. <laughs> And I was like, okay, what about Levi? What about Raina? What about Jean? Ooh, Jean would be so cute. I think it's time for me and Ted's nap. <sighs> the life of a housewife, I'm just so exhausted. It's a miracle, the AC is working. It was 78 degrees when I left the house, so the guy was not lying. He was so right. I mean, I didn't think he was lying. I just, like, he was here for like over an hour. I don't think he would've been like, nothing's wrong with it. Oh, it's a good day. It's a great day. We've done a little time hop. It is the 6th of April and we have some developments. Look at this guys. I got some cool new stream features. I have a stream starting soon screen and transitions. So also we got the thing that we bought at the very beginning in the mail is very soft, very, like, I, it immediately came the next day. Let's throw it on. I think it's cute. And we have a little bit more of a haul, a small haul, if you will. I shopped at Paxson for the first time ever since I was a teenager, and I'm really wondering if these shorts are gonna fit because I'm almost 30 and I don't think 30 year olds shop at Paxson. Maybe they do. They have a heart on them. So I can't wait to try these on. I hope they cover my butt. I hope that they're appropriate, but I thought they were so cute. I got a couple Etsy purchases here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I saw this on TikTok. It's from a store called Kimchi Collection. And it is a Levi embroidered t-shirt. I'm so excited to have this. I bought this back at the beginning of March, but their TikTok went viral. So it took over a month to get it, but it's like embroidered of one of the final panels. I'm so excited. They included these little stickers. Oh, so cute. Also, I ripped off all my nails. Here is the creator's card. You guys can pause it, read it. And then this one I'm really happy came in right before our trip because it is a bag organizer. I got one for me and I got one for Leah because we have the exact same Marc Jacobs tote. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this out and then send Leah a video of it. Like these are gonna be so perfect. Also guys, I am so excited because you guys saw the beginning of the stream. Zach and I are, you know, we were meeting a little kitty, getting to know him, and I am so pleased to announce that whenever we get back from our trip, we will be bringing little Mr. Baby, aka Alexander, home. And we do have a name picked out for him. He is only seven months old, so I swapped the name. Um, cause you know, cats are supposed to live for like 20 years, okay? And the name reveal will be happening, not on the vacation vlog, but the next vlog. So I'm really excited. If you know the name, please don't mention it because I know a lot of people saw it on the vlog and they were like, 
oh, this is the name and this is what you're doing. You're getting a cat. Cause I was like, oh, I'm talking about something that I have never seen. You guys are just so smart. So please don't spoil the name. I want to be the one to announce it. Anyway, let's go downstairs. We have to pack a little bit. Gotta decide what swimmies I wanna bring. And I want to test this organizer out. Okay, I have the pile laid out. Let me quickly show you what I am packing. And I'm wearing my robe because I'm kind of cold and I just wanna be comfy and I am so over preparing for this trip. I just want to be comfy. So let's get into it. First and foremost, my Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville Crocs. Never worn. Let's pose for the thumbnail because this will be a good thumbnail. Let me take off my robe. It's blending too much. I also got a pair of pink sandals. Just like, you know, something that I can wash out really easily. My first swimsuit looks like Where's the other pieces of it? The pattern looks like this. It's one of my favorite swimsuits. So I'm super excited to wear this one. It's a little bit of a bikini moment, which I'm excited about. My second bikini is just a periwinkle bikini. My third one is a one piece. It's this purple one and I love it. This one's from Good American. Mm, it's okay. So my favorite brand of swimsuits is one, 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 this one. It makes you, or it just makes you look so good. I just love it. And then I also have this triangle bikini that I bought last year. We have not been in a swimming situation in quite some time. And that's it for the swimmies. I'm just bringing some shorts. I'm bringing the Paxson ones. I'm not trying them on. I'm just winging it. Two blue t-shirts. They're baby tees. They look the same. Or this one is a zipper. And then this one. The cover up we just looked at together. I got this t-shirt, it's neon green. I don't love what it says on the back, but it's still really cute. Um, and then I brought a pair of sweats because my mom usually likes to keep living accommodations pretty chilly. Two casual tank tops. Like I don't, I did not feel like counting how many days we were going. I didn't feel like doing any of that. So I am just packing up everything I think I could need. This obviously doesn't include like undergarments, um, toiletries. It's just the clothing I'm packing. So I'm gonna throw it all in my suitcase. And then, and I'm packing a pair of sunglasses. These are Marc Jacob ones. I got them um, in New York with my sister and my mom whenever we went in October. I think these will be good to bring because if they get dirty or something happens to them, they're not my, um, my everyday Cartier ones. You know, they're just a little bit like, they are so cool. I love them so much. That's looking good. Yee. Okay, so we have our bag, super cute, and we have our insert. So let's see how we like this organization. It has like a little zipper here. Love that, some pockets, more pockets. Like I assume this one is for your drink to hold it up in your bag. Um, crazy. So let's unload right here. Let's, let's unpack. The bag is now empty let's put the organizer in let's see how it fits please fit please fit okay it honestly fits really well it does like kind of go up to the top of the bag as we can see but that's okay cute okay so now i have an organizer in my bag and we can organize so these are the sunglasses i don't want to bring so i'm gonna leave them out my wallet can just go in the depths. I have myself a little hairbrush. It's like, this is kind of fun. Like, where do I want to put some of this stuff at? My keys are a beast in themselves, if I'm being quite honest. They're just super excessive already. So I have so many lipsticks in here. Do I really need to carry this many lipsticks? No, the answer is no. Okay, you guys ready to see it? So I have my wallet, my headphones, my keys. In this pocket, I put batteries. This pocket, I have a lip shine and my hairbrush. This bag, I have the bag within the bag. I have hand sanitizer and I have my gum and I'm gonna put more water boys in there. But overall, the bag organizer is amazing. I love it. Other than that, I've done all the laundry. I'm about to get rid of those packages at the front with the cleaning supplies in them. The house is looking good. I've done the dishes. I'm mostly packed. I just need to get a couple little extra things. And other than that, I am ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. If you loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And until next time, don't forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind. And I'll see you next time. Bye.